Hey, what's up, YouTube? My name is Echo Giddy, and we're back again with another Photoshop tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna learn how to whiten the teeth in Photoshop without the use of any plugins or anything of that sort. So, without further ado, let's jump straight into the video and start editing. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications so that whenever I post anything, you will be notified. I want us to build a community over here, and I would really love you to be part of this. Kindly like this video if you learned anything and share to your friends on facebook on all social media platforms as well without further ado let's jump straight into the video and start editing so i have my image already loaded here in photoshop so first and foremost we're gonna go here and then select the hue and saturation then we'll select we'll go back again and then select the channel mixer this is what we are going to use to whiten the teeth. So I'm going to post my channel mixer below the hue and saturation. And then I'm going to hide the channel mixer. So it's like only the hue, just, uh, sorry, hue and saturation. So I'm going to come here, double click on this icon to open the, the controls. So what we're going to do here is we're going to select just the teeth. That's what we are going to lighten. So we're going to select just the teeth with this. So all the way, so we'll come here to this symbol over here and then select it. And then we'll sample anywhere around the teeth. So I'm going to sample here like this. And then we're going to move the saturation panel forward. We're going to, the slider, we're going to boost the saturation like that. And then we're going to move the hue to forward like this to get something like this so afterwards we're going to this way we're going to use this slider over here so we're going to move it until you realize that just the teeth is selected so i think this is okay so we're going to just fine tune it by holding it and dragging back this slider just to fine tune it yes the skin is selected as well but you don't have to worry about it too much for now we're gonna remove all so just like that this one too forward backwards sorry then we're gonna fine tune it like that a little bit back just do it until you, you, you until everything is selected until everything is uniformly selected my image is different Maybe you also might be different, so we just make sure the teeth is selected. You just follow the the, the procedures that I'm showing, and then you're gonna get it done like that. So I'm currently just fine tuning it just to make sure everything on the teeth is selected like that. So quite a bit. It's too much. So. It's a little bit yeah. yes so i think that is enough for me yeah for the sake of the tutorial i don't want to let the tutorial be too long i actually love for it to be perfect but i don't want it to be too long so it's like that okay so that is enough so we're going to move back this uh the, uh, the saturation slider back like this and we're going to move the heel back like this the image to be back to the way it was before okay, now i'm going to move the saturation panel like that as you can see the lips are not selected because we are selecting just the teeth and then the skin is also selected for the colors in the teeth the colors in the skin are some of the colors that is in the teeth that's why they are both selected but we're going to clear it up very soon so we're going to move the saturation back like that and then I think the view is okay. I think this this over here is okay. So as you can see, it's already the teeth is already white. You can see you are done. Yes, yes, clear the side, but no, with this tutorial, we're gonna take it a little bit further. Yeah, so don't worry about the skin for now. We're gonna clear it up. So we're gonna move to the channel mixer, we open it up, double click. And we're gonna come here the monochrome we're gonna take the monochrome 
We're gonna change to gray. Don't worry about that. And we'll change the blend mode to screen. Like this. So we're gonna use these colors, the sliders, to change uh, to brighten the teeth. So we have the red. I'm gonna lower it. So see, the, the side is okay for me. For the green, just to increase it or decrease it. Let's let's hide the green saturation so that. All right, let's just open it like that. So we're gonna increase with the hue. Whatever it is, I think. Yeah, I think this close to the right. That I think is okay for me. Let's see. We can the bin is too much, so just like that. You just follow the steps and then I think we're gonna get the image how you want it to be. So the blue controls a lot of the white, so yes, move it back and forth so you get it the way you want it to be. Just like that. I think that is okay. That is okay for me. Yeah, I think it's okay. All right, I think that is okay. We go back. We select. We press uh, shift with the channel mixer selected already. We move the shift and then we press. We click on the view and saturation as well to select both. Then we go to Control G to group them. So from here, we're going to create a layer mask on this one. So we're going to mask everything up and then just select just the teeth. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to click on the layer mask like this. Then on the layer mask, when you press it, it's different. So you're going to, with the layer mask selected, press on Shift, eh, sorry, Control I to invert. So like that. Black. So now I have our image back to the way it was before. So what we're going to do next is we're going to select the brush tool. Capacity at 100, low at 100. We can choose to decrease it. I mean, I love to, for the work to be very fast. So I just love for it to be very high from the beginning. And with the soft round brush selected. So now we're just going to paint. So with the four, uh, foreground color and then the background. So you're gonna set the foreground color to white. That. Then you're gonna paint the other teeth. That. So there we have it. So simple and easy to do. It's simple and easy to do. Okay. Turn this up a bit. That's the side of the select as well. Yes. So now, as you can see, we have just the teeth bright and white snow. Yes. So that's how you whiten the teeth up in Photoshop using Photoshop alone without using any other plugin or any presets or anything like that. It's as easy as that. And when you want, you can just go into it again. Double click in. Change this to yellow. This is where we did the changes. And then you can just, maybe you want to change certain things about it to, you want to balance it up a bit. So you're just going to play with the sliders to get it the way you want it. Just like that. Lighten it up a bit. Yeah, that is cool. The channel makes as well. You can just play around with it and get it's just as you want it. You want it to be very bright so you see the green. You just play around with the sliders. And so I think it's more natural. Yeah. So that's just it. So that is it for today's tutorial. So if you've learned in it, then kindly subscribe to my channel, like this video, and then share it to your friends. I really love to hear from you in the comment section. See you guys in the next one.
Thanks for watching. Bye.